Lecture 4. Human-Computer Interaction User Interface as Means of Human-Computer Interaction Usability of Interfaces Types of Interfaces Command Line Interface Text Interface Graphic Interface Physical and Mental Characteristics of the User Development Stages of the User Interface Types of Testing of Interface Testing of Users Perspectives of Development of Interfaces Human-computer interaction is the study of how people interact with computers and to what extent computers are or are not developed for successful interaction with human beings. A significant number of major corporations and academic institutions now study HCI. Historically and with some exceptions, computer system developers have not paid much attention to computer ease of use. Many computer users today would argue that computer makers are still not paying enough attention to making their products user-friendly. However, computer system developers might argue that computers are extremely complex products to design and make and that the demand for the services that computers can provide has always outdriven the demand for ease of use. Face visual part of computer application or operating system through which a user interacts with a computer or a software. It determines how commands are given to the computer or the program and how information is displayed on the screen. Three main types of user interfaces are command language. The user must know the machine and program specific instructions or code. Menus. User chooses the commands from lists displayed on the screen. Graphical user interface GUI. User gives commands by selecting and clicking on icons displayed on the screen. Line interface CLI among the places where the command line interface is used to DOS computers. The user sees the command line in a prompt indicating the current position. Interaction is only possible through the entry of commands. The computer processes these and then displays another row with an entry prompt. This type of operating system is outdated. CLIs have largely been superseded by GUIs. Text user interface 2E, a text user interface is character oriented. The execution is done in a hardware text mode. But the screen is also extensively utilized. The programmer only has 256 characters in one font. The navigation is usually done using the keyboard and not the mouse. Examples include the Norton Commander or Turbo Pascal starting with version 5.0. Furthermore, this interface is also used in bootloaders and all BIOS BAS. OTANG, a basic input-output system, setup program. Installation of operating systems also use this type of interface. User interface, the graphical user interface, GUI, is the most commonly used interface in most of the modern software applications. It refers to the window containing all the software elements. User interaction occurs through the mouse and keyboard. One can also use buttons and menus on the software window. This window is the interface between the user and the software. Typical elements, such as toolbars, are also common. Such elements also allow for a somewhat similar process across different operating systems for common interactions. The design of a graphical user interface can be determined with the aid of a screen design. Real-world model when developing the first graphical user interfaces. Bits of the real world were used as a model in order to make software operation more comprehensible. This is primarily reflected on the symbols used such as a recycle bin, a folder, a disk icon for saving. From today's perspective, most of these images are outdated but still continue to be used. In essence, the study room was used as a metaphor. The desktop is the work desk. The folders are often placed in the cabinet, but the usage and logic of the structure of folders was adopted. 
with their new images as well. A reference to things that are known should always be created. This makes the user interaction easier. The GUI aims at making it possible for people to visually recognize what a button does. As a result, users do not have to memorize all the commands as was the case with CLIs. Guidelines and Rules Consistency Consistency basically means that an interaction must always occur in the same manner. Here, the following should be avoided, a menu bar with such options as copy the marked area, remove the selected area, add a selected area. This example shows inconsistency and should be avoided in a GUI. Inform the feedback. Every action by the user should always be followed by feedback. For example, if a double-click opens a certain program, the user might have to wait for a few seconds before the software can be used. For the user to know that the double-click worked feedback is necessary. This can be in the form of a change in the shape of the cursor. The oldest example is the hourglass in Windows. Do not overwhelm the short-term memory of users. Users cannot memorize everything. The long dialogues that extend over several changing windows, information should always be displayed on the same position and no information, which was available at the beginning, should be missing at the end. Voice user interface, VUI, in a voice user interface, interaction between the user and machine takes place through voice input and output. For example, a user can verbally select a person from a saved phone book in order to call the person. Speech-to-text applications or voice recognition software also use the voice controlled interface. The advantage of this form of interaction is that users do not require anything else apart from the voice. Their hands are free, and they do not have to constantly stare at the display. Text input on devices that have a small keyboard smartphones can also be made easier by using voice user interfaces. Among the prerequisites for successful VUIs is that users get a good listening experience, particularly when using automated voice answering machines for customer hotlines. The caller should not be overburdened with long voice announcements. Voice interaction is very natural since communication among human beings has long been used. Tangible user interface 2E with tangible user interfaces, the interaction takes place through dice balls and other physical objects. 2Es are rarely encountered in the everyday life, but their development has advanced significantly. The reason why they are rarely encountered is because the interaction using physical objects no longer functions if the objects cannot be located. Additionally, if you have a computer on your work desk, a tangible user interface makes little sense. Museums and exhibitions are good examples of areas where tangible user interfaces come in handy. The physical objects of a TUI are conspicuous and encourage interaction. The user can use these playfully, which in turn facilitates the learning effect, e.g., in museums. The physical object makes the experience more memorable, hence the use in exhibitions, where the user is able to remember the one stand that he actively experienced something at. A tangible user interface offers many different options since the object can be modeled in shape, color, surface, etc. From a sandbox with wooden blocks to a magnifying glass for images. Everything is possible. Natural user interface, NUI. The natural user interface should enable a user interaction that is as natural and intuitive as possible. At the same time, the actual interface is barely visible, e.g., on a touchscreen. With NUIs, user input is done using gestures and touches. Combination with the VUI is also possible. Thanks to direct feedback of the device, the operation appears more natural than the input with the mouse and keyboard. Besides the use with touchscreens, NUIs are also used in video games. For example, 
the Nintendo Wii enables actions on the screen by moving the controller with your hand. Another example is an Xbox extension with Kinect that makes it possible to control a character on the screen through one's own body movement. In both cases, the game reacts to the natural movements, thus making the interaction appear natural. Perceptual User Interface Wii A perceptual user interface is a perception-driven user interface that is currently still being explored. PEUIs should be able to combine the concepts of both the GUI and VUI as well as incorporate electronic gesture recognition to facilitate interaction with the computer. The addition of the listening and visual senses of the gestures, this interface aims at improving the perception even further. Brain Computer Interface BCI Brain Computer Interface uses human thoughts. So far, there has been a lot of success in this area and the research is very promising. The research is based on different application areas. Electrodes are used to measure brain waves that are in turn calculated using various algorithms. This makes it possible to control robotic arms, etc. This type of interaction is a big relief to people with disabilities in their everyday life. A similar implementation, which aims to control a vehicle through human thoughts, is also being worked on in the automobile field. There are a number of similarities and differences in the creation of a graphical user interface and a website. For instance, the navigation on a website is done by the user. The user chooses the path through the page structure. In a GUI, the software developer can control the options that the user has to a particular moment. If a function is not available, the developer can choose to make the software hide this option at that particular moment. In the case of a dialogue that stretches onto several windows, the software can be designed in such a manner that it does not allow the user to navigate back. In a website, the previous page can always be viewed at any time. Therefore, the navigation should also be taken into account when designing a website. The page hierarchy can become confusing very quickly, and its clarity should always be ensured. A breadcrumb navigation can be helpful in this case. Long click paths also play a key role for the Google bot as well. A user uses a software program over a long period of time, thus making him her familiar with the many elements of the GUI. In the case of a website, the dwell time is not that long. Users often view pages as being a small part of the entire internet. Website designers should therefore make sure that the user experience on their website is kept at par with other websites. For instance, the navigation bar is generally found on the left or at the top. Placing it at the bottom of the page irritates users and will cause most users to leave the page. As a webmaster, one should therefore ensure that the basic things on the website are just as they appear everywhere else on the internet. This makes the user feel comfortable and is more likely to become into a customer.